Understeer control is an additional function of the electronic stability program. This function intervenes during loss of control of the vehicle during understeer. The correction acts on the two wheels on the inside of the corner, or on the front wheels with a reduction in the engine torque. The understeer control system is based on the reduction of the vehicle speed. The computer takes account of the information from the sensors to calculate the path followed by the vehicle and the path desired by the driver. The correction is made by the following actions. Braking of two or four wheels at different pressures. And the reduction in the engine torque. Braking of more than one wheel reduces the speed of the vehicle whilst retaining improved stability. The reduction in the engine torque facilitates the weight transfer and therefore the re-establishment of front axle grip. The deceleration obtained during regulation causes the stop lights to come on. The engine torque regulation system intervenes in the event of a sudden release of the accelerator on road surfaces with a low level of grip. The engine braking that occurs when the throttle is released becomes too strong compared to the amount of grip available. The engine torque regulation system limits this phenomenon by increasing the engine torque. At the point when the accelerator is released, the drive wheels suddenly reduce speed under the action of the engine brake. This engine brake has a tendency to lock the wheels, making the vehicle slip on the road surface if there is insufficient grip. The speed sensors for the ABS system detect the locking of the wheels. A program built into the ABS computer sends a command to the injection computer to increase the engine torque. The command is maintained until the wheels stop slipping. The traction control system is an additional function of the electronic stability program. The objective of the traction control system is to prevent the wheels from slipping when pulling away or when accelerating. Depending on the conditions of grip, the traction control system intervenes to reduce engine torque and to apply braking to the wheel that is slipping. To carry out this function, the computer uses the information from the wheel speed sensors. The computer controls the activation of the pump and its solenoids for the wheel concerned. The traction control function is operational whatever speed the vehicle is travelling. Symmetrical type slip occurs if the drive wheels are slipping at the same speed on the same type of surface. The computer for the electronic stability program sends a command to the injection computer to reduce the engine torque. The request is maintained until traction is re-established. Asymmetrical type slip occurs if one drive wheel is turning at a different speed to the other wheels on the vehicle. This situation occurs, for example, when one wheel is on tarmac and the other wheel is on ice. The computer for the electronic stability program controls the braking for the wheel that is slipping. The excess torque is transferred, via the differential, to the wheel with the best grip. At the same time, the computer reduces the engine torque if the braking action proves to be insufficient.